I've not pretended to do things since I was a kid. Just go along with it, Dave. Okay. This is all good for the video. You have to take it asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard, is it? No, no. I'll put it to the start of the video. You see, yeah, comedy effect. <sighs> That's going a bit too far, already. <laughs> No, no, I'll tell, I'll tell you what, Rob, we need to be laying on Steve's shoulders. Go on, what lay, lay that. Hey, what do you know? Go on, then. Lay, lay that. Yeah. Oh, Go on, Rob, you get the other side. This is just... Rob don't like man touching, though, does it? No, we'll just do a bit of sleep. Okay. <laughs> I don't like to do that. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah, we don't really drop off. You ain't got to stay in <laughs> Yeah, you dropped off in the car. Oh, that, that's enough of that. Yeah. Hello, hey up, and how you diddling? And I hope you're diddling just fine wherever you are on this rock we call the earth today. Right then, as you can see from the start of this video, we're acting a little bit daft, and we've gone a bit, little bit crazy and nuts, but we're not bothered, are we? Because we're not taking life too seriously. And uh, the day I have to start taking uh, the making of these videos too seriously, I think I'll jack it all in, to be honest with you. Uh, but as you can see there, courtesy of Google Earth, we are looking at today's exploration from high up above like a kestrel. Uh, well, a kestrel that's gone a little bit too high high up because you know, this Kestrel can see Telford, Wolverhampton, Birmingham, Kettering, Peterborough, Grantham, Derby, Loughborough, Leicester, Burton-on-Trent and uh, a whole lot more can't it? It's gone a little bit too high and uh, of course it is within that red flashing circle that we explored today near the town of Aberston in North Warwickshire just over, just creeping over the Leicestershire border of course uh, to an area that we're already familiar with because we came to this location uh, two or three weeks back to look at the uh, the Baxterly Quickline Works and uh, a short stone's throw away from the Quickline Works is a, a branch railway, uh, the Kingsbury branch railway that served the Baddersley Colliery, well or collieries in that area and uh, on this uh, railway, we actually went to look at a viaduct first, but more interestingly, later on in the video, we're going to have a look at a tramway, a tramway tunnel that is a short stone's throw away from this railway that's fascinating, this tunnel. You know, I hope you stick around to watch it, because it's, it's brilliant. There's some really interesting things within this tunnel. It's in a little bit of a, a bad state of repair in some areas of it, but it was, it was amazing. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get our noses in gear and go and have a nosy at it. I really loved this, uh, this tunnel. Right then, so we're on our way down to look at this uh, lovely old viaduct on the Kingsbury Branch Railway. And uh, of course the Kingsbury Branch, it was built to serve you know, these pits back here, Baddersley Colliery and what have you. And I've been to this viaduct before, it's, it's a very interesting viaduct. And it's, you know what, it's, it's just started raining, it's that wet rain. It's what I call wet rain. <laughs> and it's all bloody wet, ain't it, to be honest with you. Right then, what's going on here, Dave? Where's... It's over... If... Is that a path? Is that a trodden path? Looks like it, yeah. Yes, get up here. But yeah, hopefully it don't pee it down. It's not too bad at the minute, this wet rain. It's fine. It's that fine rain, not too heavy. But, but yeah, looking forward to showing you this uh, this viaduct. There is some bridges and what have you as well. I don't know if we'll be looking at them while we're here because we've got to save Dave's legs. He can't go, he can't walk too far, bless him. But um, but what we're really looking forward to seeing is this tunnel, isn't we, Dave? Yeah, this tunnel. This old track. That's if we can find it because. It's in the middle of the woods on uh, Baddersley Common up there, and you have to get in the top of it. You can't just go into a, just a into hole a portal. In the yeah, it is. It's a bit uh, claustrophobic, like. But right there is your railway embankment. There's a dip here. Look. So we've got to walk down there, Dave. That is where 100% the viaduct will be. Oh, in that dip. Just down there, yeah, because there's a brook there. And we all know that water finds its own level and its lowest point, so that'll be where it is. Right, so we'll go and get up on top of this beautiful old viaduct, because like I say, last time I come down here, I couldn't do it. But of course, you know, this railway that this viaduct served um, was for, for the coal industry, of course. It was a mineral railway branch, this. Now, I'm not sure without looking at the maps again. I can't remember, but... A Kingsbury, of course, is a small village up the road from here. And now the railway there, I think where the station and what have you is or was, I think that might have been built in 1838. So a very old one. But this branch here, I don't know if I'm right here, I'm probably wrong, I don't know. I think this was around about 1878. I'm not certain, I might be wrong on that, because of course, the actual coal mining industry that took place around here, they were using tramways 
and I think going to Coventry Canal Wharf just up the road here and the tunnel that I'm going to take you to look at in a bit that would have been connected to that canal but yeah this is really really steep this massive embankment this is and again all built by hand amazing right right we're at the top now and I've got up here and Dave said to me straight the way what did you say Dave this is very interesting now when he says that unusual. when he says that I get excited wow oh my god that is brilliant look at this let me turn the camera around right then so that is the top of the viaduct through there and what Dave's just pointed out look at this what's going on there then now that is lower than the actual railway trap bed there and do you know what I'm thinking Dave I'm wondering if this viaduct to our right here is a newer viaduct and that is part of an old structure an old viaduct an original one really that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm theorizing <laughs> Hey, where's Rob going? Hey, up! He's got through. <laughs> He's a bit thinner than me. But yeah, that's brilliant. Um, don't know what to make. That's really old, Dave. Right then, so the bit I've just been filming, that is on the opposite side to where I'm standing. But there is indeed, on the opposite side of it, another arch here. So it does look like, indeed, that it is part of this actual structure. It's not an older bit. But yeah, this is weird, this is. I'm not sure why this is here. Bit of blue engineering brickwork there. Nice stonework on top here, of course. Got to watch what I'm doing here. It's a bit precarious, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, but we'll go up on top of there in a minute. But just look, look at that, how that wood sticks out there, look. Reminds me of one of those really old American uh, bridges that used to span massive uh, rivers, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we'll show you this archway from the other side anyway, without boring you too much. I tell you what, it is steep this is as well. Good leg workout on a Sunday morning. It's only just gone eight o'clock. Brilliant. But uh, yeah, look at this. I tell you what, they are steep these sides. You, you won't want to come down here after you've had a few sherbets. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I've just inhaled a little fly. Hopefully I won't die. See what I did there? Right, so look at that. So that is the first one that we looked at. I'm hanging on for dear life here at the minute. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at that. So, that's interesting, nice bit of detail, isn't it? Because when I first seen it, it looked like those steps. Because Rob's just walked up here. Uh, that's what I'm going to do now, actually, walk up here. So, there's been a bit of a landslip here in the past where it's all fell out of here by the looks of it. But yeah, but look at this. Brilliant. Love these old details, don't we? Right, let's get on top of this viaduct. If I can get through that gap in the fence, anyway, because I'm the fattest out of all three of us. Right. Right, so we are on top. And of course, you've got all the old ballast round here. And just here, look, rotting away, bless it. An old railway sleeper. But this is a very interesting viaduct, this is. I've never seen one like this. Well, at least I've never actually been to one like this. But just look at it. In actual construction, I'm going to have to watch where I stand because I don't want it to, to fall through. The actual construction here, below the ballast, is actually wood look. They look like uh, really big old railway sleepers. But yeah, look at this here. Fascinating construction, isn't it? I like how they've, I like how they've built it like this look, how they've carved out this here. Yeah, very interesting. I mean, now whether this is the original viaduct for this railway, I couldn't tell you. Something's telling me in the back of my head that this is 1878, this railway was built. But yeah, look at this, I tell you what, it's a bit precarious. It has got, yeah, we have got steel under here, look, that makes me feel a bit better. Wow, look at that here, look. All the way down to the bottom, to the brook. Lovely. Yeah, in a bit of a sorry state, it's round here, look. But yeah, it's a good one.
Yeah. This is that out there. We're stuck in a concrete tunnel. Yeah. With Mick Dundee from Australia. <laughs> well, that's Paul. <laughs> <laughs> this is church for us. Well, it is, isn't it? This is church for well, us. It is, though. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Robbie Woods. Yeah. 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 Our song. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All we need now is India. Here's that Robin bat look. <sighs> That's going to be too far, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right. India Andy Jones in it looking for this tunnel. I can't remember for the life of me where it is. I can't pinpoint it with my mind at the minute, but you know, I've been here. I came here in. Memory. I think it was March, I come and did a, a recce here. I went and looked at a, a viaduct nearby. I did a little Facebook uh, video actually, but I didn't include the tunnel on, uh, on that video. Because I wanted to save it for when I actually made the main video. But um, it's round it, I can't, I don't know. <laughs> it's round here somewhere. It ain't far away. Right, so the thing with this particular tunnel is, it's not like any other tunnel that uh, we've been and looked at on this channel, uh, in terms of accessing it anyway, because you have to access this one from a, a hole in the top of it. And that's what we're looking for. You are Dave? He's found it, right. That's good then. <laughs> I had a feeling it was gonna be filled in, you know, but... Uh, just me to get stuck in the undergrowth. I love it really. Where are you? Where's Everio? <laughs> yeah, I'm on my way, buddy. Oh shit, yo, you know when you do that when you stand on your the side of your foot? Right. De -de 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 -de. Right then, and here it is. We must have been walking past this the other night, you know. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I seen many months ago. So we've got to access it in that hole there. But this used to be, oh crap. So this is the old entrance to it. I say, it's not a it's a very old tunnel. I mean, I'm, I think this is early 1800s, late, oh, yeah, late 1700s. Years, yeah, but it was concreted off, you see. But many years ago, for whatever reason, a hole appeared in it here, and we <laughs> we got to get down there. So, yeah, we'll get in. It's an interesting one, anyway. Very, very old. This is right. Let's get on with it. Right, and this is going to be awkward. I mean, I'm a big lad. I mean, I'm six foot three. And uh, you know, Rob is uh, he's six foot six, ten ain't foot, you? Ten foot six. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's like the shard. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm I'm six foot six wide. I used to be. Right. There yeah. This is a this is a very old very old tunnel. This it's a bit claustrophobic. Now, contrary to popular beliefs, I'm not very good in tight spaces. You know, I'm all right once I get in. But I had this thing a few a while back. But, uh, right, it is awkward, this one. Right. And here's the main man himself. He was sorely missed the last time I went out to make a video, weren't you, mate? Good morning, good morning, so. everybody. <laughs> but yeah, what do you reckon to this then? Now, Dave should get some good photos in here. So like I say, this is an old, well, a very old uh, tramway tunnel for these collieries that used to be round here. And I mean, again, just look at this, got the old this old stonework here with these marks on. These are amazing, aren't they, Dave? Yeah, look at that Just look at that. Yeah. Look at where the track bed was. Yeah. So can you see this? You can see the old track bed here. Just light it up again, Dave. Yeah, just look at that. Amazing. Fantastic. Here's Rob. He's made it down safe and sound as well. Yeah, oh, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a... It's awkward, isn't it, getting in there? Because you think, oh, that's tight. Yeah. But yeah, it soon opens up. Right. And you know, look at this stone. Uh, yeah. Look, 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 1829. Hey? 1827. Where does it say that? There, yeah, look. Wow, yeah. Look at that. That is, do you know what, Dave? That was worth getting down here for just for that. 1827. Look at that. So that's telling us, look how old. I said earlier, I think, I don't know if I was on camera or off it, that 
This is very old, this tunnel. I don't know any history on it, but I said to Dave, it's got to be early 1800s or late 1700s. Wow, well, that is incredible. Well done, Dave. Wow, so look at this. We've got an old candle lamp in here, look. Just look at that, you know, you've got the hole for it. You know, and it's these little details that, uh, you know, I love. And, uh, you know, we've got that date, 1827, haven't we? And we've got this as well now. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, so old, this is. The colours all changed out of time. Yeah. Yeah, it has spoilt it a bit with that graffiti on it, isn't it, mate? But uh, never mind. But yeah, what a great detail that is. Fantastic. Right, so look what Dave and Robert just found. Part of an old shovel. And I'll tell you what, I mean, there's, there is a bit of crap down here that's you know, found its way down here over the years. You know, modern rubbish as well. But I'd imagine that this is, this is very old, this shovel, I think. Um, it's not modern. I think this was probably a miner's shovel. Maybe it was, you know, when they got the carts coming down here, maybe, you know, bits of coal that fell off the carts. Maybe this shovel used to scrape it back up and put it back on the trucks, you know, on the carts. But, but Rob's just seen this look. And it looks like a bricked up refuge, doesn't it? That's interesting. Another great bit of detail. Fantastic, but yeah. Uh, the end that we're walking down at the minute, that's actually, that's all blocked off, but Dave will get some amazing pictures, but yeah, just look at that. I'm still amazed by that date we found, to be honest. Dave's getting excited again, he's found something, but yeah. Got a little detail on the wall here, look. Hey, what we got? What we got? See, when I, last time I came in here, I never vent, hey, oh, what's that? Is it? Brilliant. That's a good one. Look at this roof. Wow, that is a good one. Look at that. When you came in here last time, Dave, did you come this far? No. This is all new to me. I think this is my favourite tunnel I've been in. See, when I came in here, I didn't come right all the way in on my own. Because you, you shouldn't be on your own. But, wow, this is an incredible piece of this history, this is. Here. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's hope it don't go while we're in here, because I ain't had my bacon and eggs and toast yet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But yeah, this is amazing. What a piece of history. Fantastic. Right then, so we've reached a point now where we can't really go any further because it's, it's actually caved in. I mean, when you look at this, I mean, the phone, as per usual, it's not doing it justice, but this is, this is a proper cave in here. Now, there's a small hole there, look, and it's evident that people have actually been going through there. I ain't going through there. You know, I'll, I'll go to places, but this is, this is dangerous down here. Do you know what I mean? And we're not having delighted Dave going down there with his gal. Do you know what I mean? He's been suffering, bless him, ain't you, mate? Yeah, I'm a bit better now. Glad yeah. to be out again. But, you know, it, I mean, there is a bit of water ingress in the top here as well, but, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that is, that's proper frightening, going through an hole like that. <laughs> Rob's just said, oh, we're not going through there, are we? And we get absolutely no, shit up. No, we, we would. We're going to get absolutely shit up. You, we're, not, we're not ruining the lever in my car, Dave. No, definitely not. Right, so we're just walking back out of the tunnel, and, uh, as you can see, Dave... It's got the old um, candlestick holder, and uh, yeah, it's a bit beat up. I don't know if a wagon or something hit it once, but you know this is very old, and you can see just there where the candle used to actually sit in there. That's brilliant, isn't it, Dave? Oh, that's fantastic. And that's amazing. What do you know? What I quite like about this here, you have got this really old candlestick holder here. Then you've got graffiti there, modern day graffiti. I'm, you know, I'm not a big fan of graffiti. Uh, well, I am if it's done tastefully, anyway, but. But yeah, that's it. Put it back where it should be, brother. But yeah. Isn't that incredible? Beautiful. So just before we get out of this tunnel again, I just thought I'd show you this again. 1827. That's amazing. And that's got its own little story to tell, isn't it? I mean, you know, just the fact that somebody stood down here in 1827 and carved that when they probably should have been working, to be honest with you. I mean, we're going about people graffitiing, don't we? But this is original graffiti this is but that is incredible absolutely uh, love coming across things like that and just even how it's been carved as well that's do you know what Dave I don't think one of the workers has carved that it's almost like it's been it's been done at the quarry or something isn't it do you know what I'm saying it looks too good how they've carved it see that era the way the curves are on the two and everything yeah it's, it's and it, and it tallies up. It tallies up with a map saying this was closed in when, 
Hey, well, on the 1884 map, this tunnel is classed as old tunnel, and it wasn't being used. It wasn't linked up to anything. Yeah, disused, wasn't it? Yeah, so amazing. Hey, it's a bit windy out there. It's spooky, isn't it? I love it. Is your bag out there? Did you say? Yeah. Oh, is it? We'll get back out in a minute. There's nothing in it, though. Oh, all right. I just love it. I could stay here.